Hey there, this is Ed Herzog, and what I want to show you today is a tutorial on how to trigger a pop-up in Elementor using the Elementor pop-up builder. This is something I actually struggled with myself and it took me a while to figure out how to do it. There may be more than one way to do it, but from my personal experience, this is the best way to do it. So as you see right here, I'm on my webpage. This is my webpage is simply my name, edherzog.com. And you see I've got a free guidebook here, The Essential Guide to Email List Building. And then there's a button here, uh, which people obviously are going to click uh, in order to sign up for this free guide. So you click on that and boom, the pop-up appears. Uh, now you're not limited just to buttons. I mean, most people obviously are going to click the button. Uh, but uh, I have a setup on the image as well. If you click on the image, the same pop-up comes up. So uh, the question is, how do you do it? How do you get that set up? Um, it's actually very simple, but again, it took me a while to figure it out. So I'm going to come in here, you know, I've already got my, uh, pop-up design. We're not going to, I'm not going to show you how to do that. That's not the purpose of this particular tutorial. I might do that in another tutorial later on. Let's wait here a second for this to load. There we go. So I've got this all designed. I've got it hooked up to my autoresponder, but I need to make it trigger. I need to make it pop up. How do I do that? Um, once you've got this all designed, having it looking the way you want it to look, the first thing you then need to go here, you go to display conditions. Now here you don't want to pick any display condition, right? It's not the purpose of this to pick your pop-up. It's going to display wherever you have it linked to an element on your, uh, on your WordPress page using Elementor. So this, you don't actually pick anything. Then you come to triggers. Now, this is very important. You'll see a trigger here called on click, and that one to me is very confusing. That's what I thought you would use to make this pop up. Uh, and it actually, you know, there is a way to get it to work, but I found what would happen, what I found is that I could get it to pop up one time, but if I closed it, I couldn't get it to pop up again. And you really don't want that because you don't know, you know, somebody may click on it a couple times before they finally decide to, to opt in. Uh, so you want to give them that option to, uh, to click it close it and then click it again. And at least in my experience, what I found is using this, I could get it to pop up one time and it wouldn't pop up again. Uh, so you don't pick any of these here on triggers. And the same thing with advanced rules, you don't pick anything. I mean, you could in theory, but it doesn't really make sense. You want to, again, these are things like show after X page views, show after X sessions. That's not what you want. This you want to do on demand. You want to, want to enable your website visitors to trigger the pop-up when they want to, when they're ready to opt in. So you don't actually pick any of these here. Um, it's very important. So what do you do instead? You come over here to, to Elementor. This is, again, this is Elementor Pro. The pop-up builder, if you don't have it, it only comes uh, as part of Elementor Pro. So right here, I've got this button and we go in to edit it. And right here, uh, under content, on the first tab, it says link. You're gonna click on dynamic. Then you're going to scroll down and you're going to pick pop-up. This comes under actions, pop-up. Then you're going to click right in here. It'll say pop-up and you want to click on that. You're then given three options, open pop-up, close pop-up, toggle pop-up. You obviously want to pick open pop-up. Then you have to indicate which pop-up you want. You know, you may have multiple pop-ups depending on, you know, what you, what you have designed. Uh, you know, you want to uh, designate which pop-up you want triggered by this particular element. And so mine is called email guide trigger. So right there it is. And that's it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and update that. Well, I didn't really actually change anything just to make sure that everything's okay. But that's it. It's just a very simple process. But again, the important thing is you're not limited to button. Um, you know, again, I've got this set up for the image. So here I come in and this one is a little different because it says link. And so, you know, I don't pick none. I don't pick media file, pick custom URL. And from there again, it's dynamic. It's uh, action right there pop up again click right in there pick open pop up and then pick uh the pop up that you want to have displayed there and this will work with a lot of different elements i mean there are a lot that just it doesn't make sense right i mean if i've got uh, a button in my social media um uh channels you know that i want people to go visit those channels uh you wouldn't even really want to obviously use a pop-up it makes no sense um, but you know, for something right here, uh, for my header, I could do it for that if I wanted to, I don't want to, but if I wanted to 
right here I've got link and I've got dynamic. I could again click on dynamic and then uh, pick pop-up and then pick the pop-up that I want to display. Um, if we go in here, uh, you can do it for an icon. Let's just drop that in there for a second. And again, you've got link and dynamic. You can do it for an icon box. Uh, scroll down here and again link and dynamic. You could do it for a call to action. Again here you've got to go under content and then scroll down and right there you've got link and dynamic. So works for that, works for, what is another one it works for? Image box. There's another one that it works for. Drop that in there. And where is it at? Got to scroll down here. And right there, link and dynamic. So you've got a lot of different options. You're not, you know, most people, of course, think of buttons, uh, which obviously, again, that's going to be where you get most of the people to click and then to opt into your email list. But, you know, some people may uh, click on the image uh, or, you know, if you if you do want to do it as your part of your headline, some people may click on that. You never know, right? You want to give people options. You don't just want to limit them in terms of how they interact with your website. So that's how you do it. That's how you trigger a pop-up using Elementor and the Elementor pop-up builder. So if you have any questions or comments on this video, please let me know. Uh, I do have more Elementor tutorials and guides coming out. So if that interests you, make sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure then to also hit, hit the notification button. And finally, if you're not currently an Elementor Pro uh, owner, right? Uh, I guess subscriber, since it's a, a yearly subscription, uh, I will say it is for me by far the best builder for WordPress. I've, I was one of the very first, I shouldn't say one of the very first, but I bought it when it very first, very first became available. Uh, for me, it was an absolute no brainer. I love using Elementor. Um, and so if this is something that interests you, if you're not currently a, a user of Elementor Pro, but you're thinking of upgrading, I will put my affiliate link and I do uh, appreciate anybody who buys via my affiliate link. It, uh, you know, I get a small commission. It helps me stay in business. It helps me continue to make these sort of videos. And so again, if you choose to do that, I do appreciate it. I'll put my affiliate link in the description for the video. So that's it. Again, questions, subscribe, and if you want to buy, uh, please do so via my affiliate link. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.